For this construction, we're going to learn how to inscribe a circle within a triangle. In order to inscribe a circle, you have to find the in-center. You learned how to find the in-center in a previous construction where you had to find all angle bisectors of a triangle. So we're going to go ahead and use angle bisectors first to find this in-center point. That'll eventually allow us to find the circle within the triangle. So first things first, we're going to go ahead. We need to find at least two angle bisectors. In order to get our in-center point, you could find all three if you wish to make sure you're super accurate. But I'm going to go ahead and find the angle bisectors of A and B. So there's my angle bisector for A, and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing, but for point B. So once I have my in centers, I'm going to go ahead, my in center, excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and label that as point I, where my two angle bisectors intersect. Now, the in center of a triangle is an equidistance from the three sides. So I is the same distance away from AB, AC, and BC. Ultimately, if I'm trying to put a circle right inside and inscribe it within the triangle, I need to treat AB, BC, and AC as tangents to the circle. We know that a radius and a tangent should be perpendicular to one another. So we're going to go ahead and use the construction where if you have a point outside of a line or off the line, we can go ahead and find the perpendicular line to that. So we're going to use essentially what's from construction six, and we're going to go ahead and make that perpendicular line. I'm going to go ahead and use AB to go ahead and create that perpendicular line. So you can see here I've got my perpendicular line from I intersecting with side AB and where it intersects with side AB. I'm just going to call that R. Now, once I have that, I have the radius of my inscribed circle. So I can go ahead and use my compass to copy that and ultimately draw the inscribed circle. So I'm going to use I as my center. I'm going to line up our compass here. We're going to go ahead and draw the circle. Our circle within the triangle itself, it should be just intersecting in three places here at side AC, AB, and BC. And that's how you get an inscribed circle.